Ooh, welcome back to Prison Architect, everybody. Welcome back to Morningwood. Now, I've got to apologise. Today's video is going to be a little bit short, okay? I've had I've had those mic issues again, all right? I've tried to do a couple of recordings tonight already. It's It's been cutting out on me. I fiddled with some settings using using my mixer and stuff, and I, I inquired for information from my, my musically-minded friends, so I'm going to have to wait and see, see what I can do about that. Worst case scenario... I'll have to see if I can acquire some equipment from from one of them. Um, I talked about doing that before, you know, so. But today, I, I know we were building houses before. I wanted to do something ever so slightly different. Oh, I should, I should first, first of all, I should say as well, I know I said I was going to do a shout out, but um, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm kind of recording this before the other video has gone out. So the shout outs are going to have to wait for the next, the next video. So apologies for that. I probably should have thought about that while I was saying it, but you know, too busy playing to actually to actually think about what I needed to do, but uh, yeah, today I wanted to do something ever so slightly different. Okay, I figured we could use this space down here somehow. All right, now I know it's pretty unmanageable space. Look, okay, there's not a huge huge amount you can do with it if we uh, kind of confine keep to the laws of uh, the Morningwood layout. But I do think we can do something with it. Okay. So uh, what? What? Here's the plan. Right, we're gonna make a building like this. We're gonna we're gonna add on to the back of it like that and like that. There's no point putting a block there, okay? But we we can probably use this tiny little space for something. I expect. Uh, and then up here, I I wanna I wanna do very similar, okay? But we're gonna do a slightly different building in this space. Now we're 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 building this lovely kind of suburban you know area up the top. And uh, what what every good kind of suburban area needs, you know, to keep keep everybody in line and to make sure everybody everybody has the same beliefs as each other. See where I'm going here? Is uh, we're going to build a church? Okay, we're going to give these suburban suburbanites uh, a, no a lovely church that they can come and come and worship their chosen chosen lord in. I mean, I honestly, I'm not going to tell them who they should worship. Uh, we we don't. You know, we don't do that in Morningwood at the end of the day. People are free to make their own choices in Morningwood. And uh, I think that's grand. I think that's the way that it should be. Now, what we could do, though, is use this tiny space here to make a, 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 a one one block size toilet, which would be kind of funny, but I don't I don't think we'll do that. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it for, like, some flowers or something. I don't know, maybe we can find, like, a gravestone that we can get in there. I, I don't know, it's pretty grim, isn't it? Maybe maybe I'll have a little think about it or whatever. But yeah, I just figured if we got a church in, you know, there, there's enough room to maybe get like, I don't know, probably probably not that much in here actually. Hmm. Let's have a little look. How big are the pews? Uh, we need to get pews in a church. And uh, you need to also, what, what else do you need to get in a church? You need to get the pews in and you need to get a altar. And the altar, well, the altar is massive, look. Uh, okay, maybe maybe the church plan has to go out the window. Maybe I can do something else with the roads instead, perhaps. Hmm. I mean, that that could be an interesting option, actually. We could... Okay, maybe maybe I'll do that. Maybe... I don't know how this will look. Okay, it might look slightly silly. Um... Oh, I don't know. I don't... I just don't know. Like, I really want to use this space. I want to use it kind of effectively. But I think what we're going to have to do is basically make this road thinner. Okay? So it... it it's a free wide road instead, which means the the pavement goes to there, and then it could come across like that, and that means we can get a little bit more space into the church. Look, you see, we can get rid of that little bit of foundations just there. Uh, bring it, bring it all the way down like that instead. I think that's going to work much more effectively for us, isn't it? And I mean, we could even we could even do that if we cancel those foundations there, and. Uh, no, we, we won't we won't build it up to the edge. We'll, we'll leave a one space gap because that's generally what we do, you know, in Morningwood. We leave a little a little gap. Um, wait, what? Oh yeah, of course. I'm so stupid. I, <laughs> I was building it to the old size again. I was looking, thinking, hang on, where's the gap gone? The gap's disappeared. I must have done something completely wrong. But no, it turns out I'm, I'm just being being a moron. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get them to do these foundations for us straight away. I don't know don't know how plausible this is gonna be. Okay, uh, because recently, recently our workmen have not been the most effective. Now I don't know if that's because they're getting stuck, like trying to take out tunnels um, in in like our outer walls and stuff. Because I know that is something that happens. Uh, they they do kind of get stuck trying to pathfind and things. So that's why we see them um, see them down in Bachelor Row all the time, you know, uh, just like hanging around inside the walls down there. 
basically what they're trying to do is get get the foundation, get the uh, the rubble from the tunnels and things like that, and and deal with that problem. But yeah, if we can get them, if we can get them to prioritise this work. Okay, how many have got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's one missing somewhere, I believe. Is it one? Oh no, there's six missing. Six missing somewhere. They could be on a break, I guess. They're they're probably on a break. I'm gonna I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they're on a break. Okay. Not like the relationship kind of on a break. Just like on a break as in, you know, outside having a fag or, or, or a cigarette or whatever you want to call them. You know, whatever your chosen chosen term of uh, death stick is. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose to accept that that's what they're doing and that they're not actually just like bumming around. Uh, as far as this shop goes, though, I think this is going to have to be an outward facing shop. OK, so it's going to be like one of those little newspaper booths, like a news agent. So people can come down here. Like, buy their pack of death sticks, um, their, their, their Playboy magazine, you know, have a little chat with uh, the guy who runs the place, like, he's, he's he, I'm going to say, well, we'll see who it is who decides to come and work here, but I'm going to say they're, they're like a, an old school Rastafarian kind of fellow, you know, they've got the dreadlocks, they've got a hat and everything, uh, the kind of person you see in a movie, you know, the real, real stereotypical, um, yeah, he's going to be our news provider for Morningwood, okay, and uh, we'll, 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 we'll produce a newspaper, we can call it, like, um, I don't know the 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 morning wood, morning news, or or the good morning wood. Maybe we could call it that. Maybe we'll call it good morning wood. Um, or you know what? Maybe if we were going, maybe if we're going like down the serious news route, you know, we could go like serious serious morning wood, or like maybe maybe hard morning morning wood news or something. I I don't know. You you guys can probably come up with something a little bit better than I'm I'm doing at the moment, but. What we're going to need is like one door so that the uh, the staff can get in and out of the building. Uh, by staff, I mean like the the, the 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 villagers who choose to work in here, not prisoners. It's not prison. It's a village. It's not a cult. Shut up. Uh, yeah. Instead, we we're, we're, we're going to get where's the shop fronts? Uh, shop front. Shop front. Shop front. There we go. So we've got a shop front there, and we've got the shop shelves. Now the shop shelves take up a lot of space. It's got to be said. Um, but. We we can conveniently oh look we could use oh here we go we can use our little little one block of space here okay what we're gonna do is cancel this door we're gonna put the door in on the bottom instead like that you know what I should probably do really in reality is um plan the interiors of the buildings before I put the doors on you know like that would probably be a sensible idea but I don't do that because uh, like I said that would be a sensible idea and we don't do sensible ideas here on uh, you know this 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 here YouTube channel. No, we we do outrageous and outlandish ideas that that generate millions and uh you know that that the really really break the the mold in terms of uh, the standard way of doing things. That's how we like to do things in Morningwood. It's how we like to do things on this channel. It's just just how we like to do things. Okay, who ah, somebody else so ding. See, this is this is a bit of a problem. Okay, like <laughs> I guess we have a lot of people in Morningwood who have. An addictive personality, um, because like much like me, I, I have quite an addictive personality. Like I, when I start doing something that I really enjoy doing, like uh, I, I don't know MMOs, things like that, they're they're bad news for me. Bad news bears. Like they're the kinds of games that I get addicted to, and I can't stop playing. And you know, like I, I yeah, I, I tend to tend to stay away from those nowadays because otherwise, like I say, just 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 get addicted. But yeah, I'm assuming that all of the people in Morningwood also have an addictive personality. Because that, that is the only explanation I can come up with for the fact that we have so many people ODing. I mean, it's ridiculous. Hopefully we've got a spare guard somewhere who's going to gonna run to their aid, like, take them down to see the docks, you know, and the docks are going to be like, again, what, another one? And uh, they'll, 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 you know, cure them up nicely and then send them on their way. And hopefully that will be the last time that they see them, and they won't, they won't in fact be back in there a couple of days later. My God, look how big these pews are. They're huge absolutely huge okay see this is this is partly what i'm talking about with like changing room layouts on the fly see because what i'm i don't know what i'm thinking is it could be good to put the altar kind of like here and then have the pews running up the wall instead so that they can all kind of interact but then we've got all of this wasted space over here like maybe we should just make them jump over the uh jump over the pews to actually actually get to their seats and stuff um i'm not sure hmm what do we what do we want to do? Fuck it. Let's just let's just go like this. Uh and then we'll 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 stick an altar at the end. Uh like like up here. Maybe 
no um fuck this space is not big enough for a, a freaking church why am i doing this why why am i doing this to morningwood hey hey why do they even why do they even need a church they they're good enough to know their own religions and stuff right i don't i don't need to tell them what to what to worship but i guess we kind of do cuz that that is i guess partly our job all right screw it we we're, we're going for this instead then right we're going to put an altar there we're going to get the pews we're going to turn them uh, this way round okay because that is the right way round cuz it's meant to be there's like little kneeling mats on the back of them, you know, like you get in get in churches sometimes. Uh, we're gonna have four pews. We could get five. No, we're gonna do four. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it. I'm not gonna push it. We'll we'll do four pews. Uh, oh, you know what? We could do five and get rid of this corner block. That would be revolutionary, wouldn't it? If we got rid of the corner block, uh, we we could we could like bring in an utter in a, a new era of uh, you know prison architects design philosophies, if you know what I mean. Although I'm fairly sure it, it stops the building counting as, as you know, fully enclosed. Uh, yet again, I'm going to have to move the doors. Because yet again, like I said, I should stop putting these things down before I've decided what I want to do with the inside of the space. But it does mean we've got like a, a nice little welcome area just here. We've got the pews, we've got that. I think what we should do is get some prayer mats down behind here. Okay, so the... the oh, look, we could put them across the top, maybe? That could be quite nice, couldn't it, look? If we put them across the top there, there's a nice, nice little gap... That's good. We'll put, we'll put them along the back. We'll put some prayer mats along the back like that, so that people, basically, while while they're giving the sermon, like people will be able to come up and like sit behind and pray, and like show their support for for like I said, whatever whatever chosen deity it is that they they choose to worship. Uh, we're not going to judge. Um, right. This this church definitely needs some pot plants. At the end of the day, pot. I, I'm fairly sure pot plants increase the religious potential of a building. Um, I mean, I might be wrong. But I'm sure I read that somewhere. You know, maybe maybe in a maybe in a book, uh, the good book? No, probably not. I've never read that. Um, but yeah, I, okay. So this is this is looking a little bit better now. This is a little bit more manageable. I'm not I'm not so angry about the use of space as I was before. In fact, I quite like having like the little welcome area. So it's the kind of area that you know you go into and they'll give you like a a cup of tea and some biscuits, something like that. Uh, you know, say hello, ask you how your family's been, and all the rest of it. And then you go and then you go and take your seat. Um, but yeah, I just I just figured somewhere like suburbia needs to have a church, right? Because it's it's just the kind people in the poorer uh, poorer districts they they they're religious as well, but they're slightly less caring about like where they do their religion, I guess. Like they're they're happier to have like the church of my neighbor's back garden, if you know what I mean. Whereas I I just feel like the people in suburbia are going to want to have like a nice church to go in. But yeah, seeing as we're having a nice church, why don't we put? a shit ton of windows all the way down the side of it because uh, churches churches do have a lot of windows and they are always like down one side they're never they're never kind of spread around all over the place um but to finish up the church and to deal with this space uh we're, we're going to put some flowers down okay because like i think flowers and churches they go to they go together pretty commonly right you get like graveyards and flowers and and, and weddings and flowers and, and just generally flowers you know near churches so I feel if we fill the space with flowers, that's that's actually going to be in keeping with with the theme. What is going on? Why is everybody ODing today? Jesus, they're they they're just partying. Maybe they've heard about the new church. Maybe they're just partying so hard because they've heard there's a new church, and like they're really excited, and like maybe maybe they just overdid it a little bit. You know, uh, it's fine. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame them. I'm not gonna shut them down. Might might step in and have a little word though. I'd just be like, you know what, guys, can can you just take it take it a little bit easier, maybe um, on on the drink and drugs, if if that's okay with you guys. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they won't shank me uh, where I stand. We'll we'll have to wait and see though. I don't know why I moved that. Why why did why did I move that? There we go. <laughs> that would do. I just figure we, we we need to have like a nice amount of even lighting in the church because otherwise nobody is going to be able to see what the hell is going on. Like, you know, they'll try and go around with, like, a collection plate, and they just won't be able to see shit, basically. But there we go. We got a church down. Uh, we started to get a shop down. I think next time we come back, we're going to finish up this shop. But uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, apologies apologies is a little bit shorter. Uh, next time, I'll, I'll treat you to a longer video with some shout-outs and stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, come and join us in Discord. In fact, f forget all the YouTube stuff. Come and join us in Discord. Come and come and join the conversation in Discord. Okay? That's, that's what I want you to do today. And I will see you in the next video.